Hello everyone, I'm Wendell Jones and welcome to this edition of The Platform. On this program, we examine national issues. The project in Andros called BAMSI, the Bahamas Agricultural and Marine Institute, is preparing for opening this September. And on our program today, we are going to be discussing uh, BAMSI. And uh, we are pleased to have with us today uh, some of the leaders from the University of Florida who are participating and collaborating with BAMSI. The Prime Minister of the Bahamas, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, uh, with the leadership of the University of Florida, came to an agreement that uh, this university would be uh, doing some work in association with BAMSI. And uh, visiting the Bahamas now, and they visited the campus of BAMSI, uh, uh, Dr. Jonathan H. Crane, who is uh, a professor of tropical uh, fruit. Uh, he's a specialist uh, at the University of Florida. And also here, Dr. Edward Evans, uh, who is Associate Director for International Programs at the University of Florida, and uh, he is also an associate professor there in tropical research uh, and the, the, at the Education Center. And also joining us today, uh, Dr. Omar Thomas, who is a consultant for BAMSI. Later in the program, we would speak with Dr. Valerie Delaval, uh, who is uh, the director of marine studies at um, BAMSI. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. It's Thank a pleasure you. to have uh, you here today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, for coming by again, uh, Dr. Thomas, and you yeah. brought uh, your um, uh, associates from the University of Florida. It's nice to have you here. Um, you've been to Andros, I am told. Yes. yes. And uh, tell us, uh, do you like what you saw? Very much so. Uh, environmentally, absolutely beautiful environment, um, huge opportunity. The campus is being built uh, rapidly, and uh, I should let Dr. Evans talk a little bit more about it, but it's <laughs> the environment there, uh, very, very similar to what we have in South Florida, mm -hmm. in Miami-Dade County. Um, so we see uh, what we saw there, uh, with our colleagues and also uh, the growers and the plantings we saw. We see a lot of opportunity uh, for collaboration among the institutions, but also uh, for the goals of what the Prime Minister wants for food security for the Bahamas. Dr. Evans, how did this collaboration come about? Well, um, the, the collaboration came about um, actually with, um, started with a, a telephone call from the Prime Minister to our um, senior vice president asking for uh, assistance. And a group of um, a team from BAMSI visited the University of Florida in Gainesville, met with us. And at that stage, they outlined you know, <coughs> what were some of the plans that they had um, you know, for the institute there. And this was follow up that um, we decided we were going to bring about um, 10 professors to see what was on the ground and what they were doing there and to provide some sort of uh, advice as we go along with this partnership. Um, let me say that since I think it is April until now, we were totally um, amazed at the amount of work that was done and what was achieved there. Not in our, we knew that it was an ambitious um, plan but we had not imagined that so much could have been done in such a little time. And as I said this morning, you know, um, what we saw on the ground are people who are dedicated. This has to be a labor of love because it's not something that you can do um, five, you know, working five days a week, you know, nine to five. This is something that you have to be doing seven days a week, 24 hours a day thinking about it in order to achieve what they have, they have achieved, you know, bringing all of those moving parts together in our mind. So we were really, really impressed. You have uh, a, a research uh, center at the University of, uh, of Florida. 
How are you going to uh, interface and, and collaborate with BAMSI? Right, yeah. Well, let me tell you a little bit about um, the uh, University of Florida, IFAS. Um, we are in the business of um, generating knowledge in agriculture, in um, natural resources, um, in the life science. And um, part of that is that this knowledge that we generate, we extend it and share it with the world in order to um, help to enhance the, the, the quality of life all around. And so we are known throughout the world. We have an international reputation as far as conducting research, teaching, and extension. And in fact, the University of Florida, IFAS, has a long track record of working in the Caribbean, doing research and collaborating in the Caribbean. So when we receive that sort of request, it is along that lines that we are going to look forward to see in what areas we can partner with BAMSI to assist them as they you know, develop this um, vision and bring it to each other. Dr. Thomas, we saw photographs of bananas um, that are about bearing trees now and papayas that are papaya trees that are bearing and um, uh, tell us how is the prog uh, program progressing? Well it is progressing quite satisfactorily and um, everybody at this stage is pleased and we are hoping that um, we will continue a pace until the objectives are met mm -hmm. and um, we are in the process of expanding further into the livestock component of the tutorial commercial farm. Mm -hmm. We'll be looking at um, introducing the small ruminants and the hogs and the poultry. And we may be looking at the introduction of a demonstration dairy unit mm -hmm. so that farmers can come and see what a dairy operation is like with the intention of adopting that on a farm and if we have several of those around the Bahamas then you know it could mean an introduction to the nutrition programs because people like natural things these days. Yes. Tell us more about this collaboration and, 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 and why uh, BAMSI chose the University of Florida. I, I heard from Dr. Thomas, yeah, he has uh, told us about the uh, great things about that university, but let's hear it from you, the consultant uh, of BAMSI. Uh, you could have gone to some other uh, universities um, in, in the region uh, or in the Americas, eh? Yes, we could have, but the University of Florida has a very long history of collaborating with agricultural institutions in the Caribbean for a very long time. And we know what their capabilities are and the success rates that they have in assisting to develop institutions like the Jamaica School of Agriculture, now the College of Agriculture, Science and Education, and the other educational institutions that we have in Jamaica. The University of Florida is critical in the development of the commercial agricultural sector in the Caribbean through the various extension programs which they have. And in fact, we, the professional development programs for agriculture were sometimes spearheaded by the University of Florida because almost all of the professional associations were spawned by the University of Florida, Caribbean Food Crop Society, you know, the Horticultural Society, you know, and a number of other societies that were formed and uh, sp were spearheaded by the experts at the University of Florida. Okay. So, uh, your university, are you going to uh, be uh, participating in BAMSI in a way that you are involved in teaching as well? Well, um, the, vice, the senior vice president is going to be signing a um, memorandum of understanding um, later this year, you know, and of course, um, some of the details you will be able to work with. But um, what I could envisage, and, you know, in terms of what I think, you know, um, is that um, one area that I see that we would be able to probably assist BAMSI is probably doing some short courses. We can um, 
transfer um, a lot of um, technology that we developed down there straight to them. Um, we can do a set of um, <coughs> guest lectures there and also, you know, assist, you know, in, for example, providing training for some of, 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 of the faculty that might be there or even finishing off some of the students who have passed through, through RAMS. Mm -hmm. These are just some of the areas that I'm thinking here. But I'm certain that, I mean, when the final, you know, negotiations has taken place and the details are worked out, you know, we'll come around to exactly how best it is mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. have to do. I think one of the reasons it's such a good match as well is that besides the history and the historical perspective, the climates, the soils in South Florida mm -hmm. are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to do a lot of reinventing the wheel and, and stepping back and taking five years to figure something out because we've been working on it for so long that we can make a lot of direct transfers of technology and information. Now, of course, there's going to be details that are minor you know, changes and, and working things out. But a lot of the technology, a lot of the information can be almost directly transferred um, mm -hmm. in collaboration yes. with BAMSI. And so that, that is just, it's such a good fit mm. uh, from that perspective. And that's both in the natural resources area, the uh, farming or agricultural mm. area, the marine area. So it's, it's, it really is a, a really good. And we're also thing. looking at the, the possibility of the harmonization of aspects of the curriculum. Mm. You know, so mm. that um, our students can go to the University of Florida, Florida for finishing off or so. Uh, would would yeah. you have um, students who might visit uh, BAMSI as well? Sure, yes, yes, yeah. An internship, bilateral internship programs. Internship programs. Yes. Yeah, and, and, and in addition to that, I mean, you know, several times there, we, we have graduate students over there who are looking for, um, you know, projects to work on to finish their dissertation or whatever it is. This is an opportunity where they can come and do some of the field work there which would benefit, you know, mm -hmm. um, the community, the agricultural community there, you know, the results of it could be shared to benefit them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Doc Dr. Thomas, um, we talked about what you have uh, in, in the ground now, uh, but you, you are really going to be working with farmers throughout the Bahamas. Uh, uh, yes, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. You're right about that. Because what we have in the ground at the commercial t tutorial farm in Andros uh, is the core of what should be spawning the other developmental aspect of things throughout the Bahamas. <coughs> because through our uh, outreach program, we intend to touch the lives of farmers in all the islands that have agricultural potential. And they would benefit from the information coming and from? And they benefit from the information because through that um, outreach program, we would be providing, we're transferring the technology. We'll be monitoring the use of the technology. The output from the farms will be under the supervision of the, our outreach program. The marketing of the products will be guided by the marketing infrastructure which will be developed at BAMSI so that we reduce the level of frustration that farmers presently endure as a result of an ever haphazard or non-existent marketing infrastructure for agricultural production. So these are some of the benefits that the, the farmers through the Bahamas will get. Okay. We would have as, uh, adjunct, adjunct staff members in the islands superintending the agricultural op activities and operations in those islands. And uh, so, uh, so consequently, uh, whatever uh, resources you are able to get from Florida University would also be transferred to farmers throughout the Bahamas? Yes, sir. Sure. And As a matter of fact, you know, our impact on the farming sector has started to bear fruit. How is that? Because we are now providing mechanical and equipment support for land preparation, soil preparation for farmers. Mm. Waiting time to have these things done has been reduced significantly. 
we'll be producing seedlings to make them available to farmers for the planting season. The cost of these seedlings is less than a quarter of what they were costing originally from the commercial sector. Mm -hmm. So the impact there is being recognized now. Mm -hmm. And we are saying that this is only the beginning. This is the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you will not only have trained people coming out of Bamsey, you will not only have exposed farmers to the various technologies for, for the producing food. You will not only have the conversion of waste or non-marketable fruits into value-added production through our processing systems. You will have a reduced price of these food items to the population. When I went to Bamsey, uh, I saw uh, a, a, a whole lot about thousands of banana plants um, that were being uh, you're cultivating uh, in your nursery. Uh, how would, say, a farmer on Exuma or Cat Island access uh, these, these uh, plants that you are producing? Well, if the adjunct faculty in Cat Island or Exuma <coughs> conduct the assessment and determine that this particular farmer is at the level where he can produce these, for example, these bananas, as you say. Mm -hmm. Then we, through our nursery, would make the planting materials available and they are transferred to the particular farmer. And under the supervision of BAMSI, they are planted out in a manner consistent with good agricultural practices. At a, at a cost, of course. Of course, they, we, we would not have a cost at the front end, mm. but it will come at the back end, at which time it is more economically satisfying to the farmer. I see. Now, the, the University of Florida will be assisting you um, from a theoretical uh, point of view, and not uh, from a practical uh, uh, point of view. Is that right? I wouldn't say that. Well, tell us. <laughs> well, tell me. I wouldn't say that. Uh, um, um, the uh, fact that, that we have 10 professors from the University of Florida here mm -hmm. indicates that it is a lot more than theoretical. Okay. Okay? The influence through direct intervention will start. As a matter of fact, I spoke to my colleague pathologist um, yesterday, or, sorry, this morning, and we are going to collaborate in the establishment of a diagnostic center where we can accurately diagnose irregular plant growth irregularities at the farms, not only at Bamsey, but throughout the Bahamas. How are you going to be able to do that uh, from plants throughout the Bahamas? Of course, once we have um, recognized plant growth irregularities, whether it's a pathological origin, Mm -hmm. physiological origin, trauma, or whatever the case may be, then we, we, we have mechanisms to be set up that will transfer the samples into the diagnostic center where we will conduct all the various assays to confirm the diagnosis and make the proper recommendation. And the, the diagnosis will be done at BAMSI? The diagnosis will be done at BAMSI. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Gentlemen, um, quality um, is extremely important uh, to, to um, the Bahamian people. They want the same quality banana that they see um, uh, from Chiquita, um, and we went through this on a previous program, uh, they want a high quality uh, uh, product. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, how, how do we ensure that whatever is produced in the Bahamas now, after BAMSI, would remain, would, would be at a particular standard so that the average housewife will not be disappointed? I do, I, let me just correct something before Dr. Evans makes a contribution. Yes. You say after Bamsi. What does that mean? Well, Bamsi begins s September, late September. Oh, you mean that because Bamsi will be here? Yes, yes. In <laughs> perpetuity? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. In fact, what, what I want to say again, and it comes back to the whole vision of what is taking place. 
Because if we want to provide the housewife with the same sort of quality, mm -hmm. then we cannot continue doing things that we used to do long ago, the way that we used to do it long ago. We have got to modernize agriculture. We are living in a time where globalization, trade liberalization, is putting a lot of pressure on the farmer to become competitive. And because the farm has to be competitive, both not only in terms of prices, but also, as you refer, in terms of quality, the farmer needs knowledge. Agriculture is knowledge-driven now, if you want to survive and compete. And that is where we see the initiative of BAMSI comes into play. Because what it is saying to the growers over there is that come on board and modernize and you can play on the big stage like anybody else. But you have got to change your way and get access to technology. You know, when we look at what is happening in, 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 in the world, and we haven't even talked about the whole concept of food security, which is what mm -hmm. this old initiative is it's all up, about, yes. It's, it's all about, which, which, which is so relevant. But when we look at what is happening in the world, we can see that agriculture, for example, is running up against in this world, um, a, a limit to our natural resource. There's a limit to our natural resources right now, right? The population, the global population, is going to increase by another 2 billion person over the next 20 years. By the year 2050, it's going to be close to 10 billion people. We have to feed those people from resources that are already being used. <coughs> And the only way we can do that is through knowledge, improved technol uh, um, technology, etc. And so this is what I, I think the whole initiative and thing is bringing to the growers. Uh, knowledge, new information, and it will be an exciting you, you know, world because there's, there's, there's new opportunities. But you cannot reap the benefit of these new opportunities if you continue to produce as my grandfather <laughs> used to produce. You've got to modernize. Okay, all right. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Crane, we're going to engage you in that same conversation, uh, on that uh, same note, really. But let's take this break here on the program. We are here on uh, the platform, and uh, we are discussing BAMSI uh, with the consultant from BAMSI and these two professors from the University of Florida. We take this break. We'll come right back.